Hello everyone. There is a famous Chinese proverb that goes as all the flowers of all tomorrows are in the seeds of today and yesterday. Opportunities multiply as they are seized. Believing in the moon energies like I do opens the doors to adventure and discovery. Starting from this new moon, come join me in the adventure and pave your ways towards manifesting your dreams. I do not require too much from you, but just your faith and interest in your own self. Believe in your energies and give yourself the opportunity to design your world. My last video, Pluto Retrograde, apprised you of transformation and the cosmic intelligence. The universal energies trusts you to make the new beginnings. Thus, it initiates through the solar eclipse to declutter your surroundings so that during the new moon, you can manifest your new beginnings. An open mind is more likely to succeed. This is possible by decluttering your mind of preconceived notions. Skepticism and a probing mind is useful on the journey, yet cynicism blocks potential and can be a self-negating trait. Your intelligence should enable you to see what has been there all along. Trust your own energies and be able to receive the grace of cosmic intelligence. Be open to receiving the grace of cosmic intelligence. Keep a diary of your journey. Note your observations and a track of your progress. This 30th of April, we have solar eclipse with the new moon in Taurus, slowly progressing towards embracing the North Node, which is in the later degrees of Taurus. Keen astrologers would agree with me when I say that the North Node always points towards progress while the budding astrologers and my subscribers should understand that the cosmic intelligence prompts us to realize that progress can only be obtained if we leave the tendencies that pull us back behind. If we don't adhere, then the cosmic energy jolts us out of our complacency and urges us to take action. The solar eclipse creates circumstances that urge you to think and not fear. If you fear and not trust the universe, you will be frightened at the chaos that it is created in your outer world. This new moon, which is at 10 degrees in Taurus, is in a close conjunct with Uranus at 14 degrees in the same sign. Your emotions test your intelligence, or in other words, one can say, you can, you should be emotionally strong so that you can trust your intelligence, which is leading you to take correct decisions in life. Now Uranus in the sign of Taurus directly connects you with the powers of your earnings, meaning your career and finances needs to be monitored as they inadvertently lead to financial independence. Do not fear or get frightened when you are advised by the cosmos to look into your finances, strategize your financial planning. Just that is what you need to do. If you're correct, well and good. If not, you can realign yourself. Or these are actually known as course corrections also. So during the new moon on the 30th of April, work with your energies in such a way that you visualize the strength or the power that you can manifest in creating your independence or earning power. Realize your true potentials. Once in a year, when the new moon conjuncts Uranus in the house of independence, it is is an important configuration. And to top this, we have a conjunct of solar eclipse. So this is a window of opportunity for you to explore. And once in a year, we are tapped or nudged into it. Eclipses are accelerators of whatever energy or affairs are present. They behave much like pouring gasoline or petrol on a spark, causing an instant blaze that changes everything. And the impact simmers for a couple of days, even after the eclipse. The circumstances that you may face may feel fated, destined, inevitable, or like everything is happening beyond your control. This precise throttle is much needed for you to get unstuck. 
we need to build the determination or tenacity to initiate a new beginning, which the new moon in Taurus conjunct Uranus is advising. Now, isn't this like a double shot? Pluto has initiated and advised that changes have to be made. And the following solar eclipse is like a booster dose that acts like a whirlwind and nudges you towards taking action. Whilst the new moon gently wants you to slip into new forms or norms or manifestations. So when the solar eclipse is nudging you to take actions or is disorienting you, the new moon is right there protecting you and wanting you to slip into the new forms through your own manifestations. Since I've always advised you to manage your diaries, for those who did, can you recall your manifestations and calculate your progress? It will be interesting to observe how your awakenings, your new values, tangible or intangible, that you may have created for yourself since last October, are actually leading you slowly and steadily towards progress. And now during this potent period of Pluto retrograde, followed by solar eclipse, the new moon, along with Uranus, is again helping you to recalibrate and also to measure the power and the strength that is at your disposal, which you can again manifest to reach the heights that you have visualized for yourself. This builds in self-belief and confidence in your own energies, which is the earnest desire of the planet Jupiter, because Jupiter is overlooking all this. Therefore, fear not when seeming catastrophes are happening or happen with the solar eclipse. Since the new moon in Taurus is actually just right there for you to manifest the new you, which can actually liberate you. I believe in the Taurus sign, the symbol of which is the bull, which not only provides fertility and stability, but is also capable of liberating you by helping you to recognize your inner strength. You can do it if you want to. Providing the wherewithal of how to utilize the cosmic intelligence is the universal generosity. How you apply it is the measure of your intelligence velocity. So till my next, prepare yourself for the month ahead. Stay blessed.